my previous video, I explained the open loop simulation of buck converter. Today, we shall look at the closed loop simulation of buck converter. To make the closed loop system, we need to add few more components to the open loop system. We need a voltage sensor to sense the output voltage. The sensor can be a simple voltag divider or it can be a capacitive divider or it can be a voltage transducer which convert voltage to current. Now we need a summer block to find the error and the error is fed to the PI controller. We will look into the details of PI controller later. Finally we need a comparator which generates the PWM signals for the MOSFET. High frequency carrier signal is fed to the negative terminal of comparator. This completes the closed loop buck converter. Now we will look into the PI controller in detail. Transfer function of PI controller is KP plus KI by S. So we need a proportional gain, KP, and an integrator gain, KI, and an integrator. Now I will show you how to simulate this in PSIM and explain everything in detail. Let me go back to PSIM window now. I will just recall what we have done in the last class. We have a 12 volt DC source at the input, an ideal MOSFET with PWM, a freewheeling diode, an inductor with 147.83 micro Henry, 200 micro Faraday capacitor, and finally a load resistor. We have already connected a probe at the output. First we will rename the title to closed loop control of buck converter. Now we shall add the components required to make it a closed loop system. Add a voltage sensor to sense the output voltage. Add a summer block to find the error between reference and actual value. Now add a DC source which act as the reference. Give a value of 5 volt. Connect the sensor output at the negative terminal of the summer block. Now, add a proportional block and integrator from element list. Add one more proportional block which act as the integrator gain. Add a summer, and connect all these blocks, which completes our PI controller. Assign some value to KP and KI constants. I am using trial and error method to tune the controller. I am taking, KP as 1.5 and KI as 0.001. PI controller output should not go beyond the maximum value of reference signal, so we keep a limiter at the output of PI controller. Keep minimum value of 0 and maximum value of 1. Now, add a comparator block to generate PWM signals. Add, a triangular voltage source, act as the carrier waveform. Assign the values, I am using, 25 kHz, as, switching frequency. Now, remove the gating block, and, close the circuit. In PSIM, we need to add, 
and on off switch at the MOSFET gate terminal which acts like an interface between control and power circuit now add few more probes for the reference and for the carrier Now finally, open the simulation parameters, and, set the runtime. Now, run the simulation. First, see the carrier waveform. Zoom in further. 25 kHz sawtooth, ranging from, 0 to 1. Now, see the reference and actual value. See, there is a clear, steady state error. So, now we will go back, and adjust the, KI value. Let me make it 1000, and see the result. Now run it again. See, output and reference values. The steady state error, now become, almost zero let me show you the exact values both values are the same this is how we usually tune the controller in trial and error method now we will see how settling time changes with ki value let me go back to the result Settling time is nearly, 0.247 millisecond. Now we will go back, and, decrease KI value. Run the simulation again. See, settling time has reduced to, 8 millisecond. So, decreasing KI value, will decrease the settling time now we will see the effect of KP on the peak overshoot of the system first I will show you how much is the peak overshoot for KP equal to 1.5 here the peak overshoot is 11.27 volt Now go back and increase value of KP. Run the simulation. See the overshoot value. Now I will show you how to avoid the transients, in the output voltage. Let me go back to the results. Here you can see, large spikes, in the output voltage. Now we need to remove this spike, and, I will tell you, how to do it. The best method is, to gradually increase the reference voltage. To make ramp reference, we need AC block. Open the C block, make input 0 and output 1. Now let me write the code. Here, Y1 is the output. T is the simulation runtime.
delt is the sampling time. Limit the value to 8. Now compile it. So our new reference is ready. Now again, run the simulation. This is how, the reference ramp, is generated. Now go back, and increase the runtime. See, reference gradually ramps up, and, saturates at 8 volt. Now, let me replace the old reference, with the new reference. Run the simulation again. Let me show you the, reference and, output. Both reference and actual voltage looks, exactly the same. No, transients or spikes are present. So, that's it for today's lecture. In the next lecture, I will explain, how this PI controller implemented practically.